Hello. Welcome to Crafty at Home Cafe. I'm Meg Miller, Adult Services Librarian at the Pflugerville Public Library. And for the month of May, we are going to continue to bring you Crafty Cafe weekly on Thursdays at 2 p.m. You can head over to our website calendar at library.pflugervilletx.gov to check and see what upcoming crafts are for each week in May, as well as a supply list for them. So grab your drink and let's craft. Folks who have been to our Crafty Cafe before might recognize this craft. Um, it is a desktop organizer, a frame desktop organizer. Um, this one here has the stand on the back, so it usually sits next to my desk at work. It's just um, really handy to have around. It's such a quick and cool little craft. Um, so for this desktop organizer, you'll need um, some fabric. Although for this very back layer, if you had some scrapbook paper or some wrapping paper even that you really like the pattern of or the color, um, that would be totally fine for the back. Although fabric will last a little bit longer as you're pulling pens in and out of the organizer. Um, so you'll need uh, at least three pieces of fabric, um, one the size of your frame, one about two, -thirder, two thirds the size of your frame, and then a final one. Um, down at the bottom, probably just a third the size of the frame itself. You'll see that creates two pockets there. Um, a frame, this one here that I have for this new uh, organizer that I'm going to make, doesn't actually have the stand, as you see. Um, but I've got a wall space right in front of my little desk area that I'm working from home at. Um, and it's got a really cool space. I can actually just hang this right in front of me. So it won't even take up space on the desk. Um, so I've got my fabric, um, scissors to cut the fabric. I will also say that depending on how um, wrinkled your fabric is, you may need to iron it before you use it. Um, I do have some double-sided tape here that I'm gonna use for that back layer. And then hot glue um, and glue sticks for attaching it to the frame. Um, you'll see that these aren't a, a cut edge that would fray. Um, so this particular version of the craft is no sew. So we are actually going to create those um, seams there, uh, hems on the edge with hot glue. If you have a sewing machine or you want to hand sew, you could really uh, kind of ups upgrade this craft even more and sew the uh, hem onto the side of each of the fabrics. Now that I've got all my supplies, I'm going to go ahead and take my frame apart, pull up the little pieces, Pull out the back. Um, for this particular for, uh, craft, you won't need to use the glass. Um, you'll actually need that extra bit of space within the frame. Um, so you can take this and either dispose of it safely, be careful of sharp edges, or um, maybe even use it for another craft or replace the glass in a frame that you've had around for longer. So with the back of the frame itself, um, I'm going to use my double-sided tape here to get this ready for fabric. And I'm just going to go right along the edges, some in the middle, right across the top there. Sorry about that. And down the side. To make sure that when I put my fabric on here, it goes really straight. Also, making aware the whole time I'm doing this, which side the top of my frame is. So that I know, because I have this cool um, kind of arrow fabric that I want it to be going in this direction, um, I want to make sure I've got that back of the frame right where I want it. So I know my fabric is just a little bit bigger than this frame. So I'm just going to lay it on there as straight as I can with a little bit across the bottom. And I'm just going to slowly work my way, flip it around, it might be easier to come down towards me. Trying to make sure that any wrinkles or air pockets are really out from underneath there and that my design is really where I want it to be. Smooth that down. All right, so my fabric is on the back 
of my frame there. You can see I did have a little bit extra. Um, and for this, I don't want, I could really just fold the fabric back over the back and glue it down there. Um, but because I already know I have a couple of other layers of fabric coming around, um, this first layer I am going to just trim a lot closer to the edge so that when it gets put back in the frame, it will have a more solid look. Across the top here. This will also make the back of the frame itself look a little cleaner. If it's one you have standing on a desk, if you've got a frame that has the stand on the back, um, you'll want that back maybe to look a little cleaner. Um, this, since it'll be hanging on the wall, I really probably could have left it and it would have been all right. All right, almost to the edge here. And you can see I'm not doing it exactly perfect just to make sure that I've got. Now I noticed that this little corner right here is kind of flapping up some, so I'm gonna add a little bit more of that double-sided and really push that down there. All right. Okay, so I am ready for my next layer. I'm gonna set this aside for now, my back piece, and I'm gonna go to the rest of my frame. Now, the frame, um, You'll have to decide whether you want it to go long ways or um, portrait right here, which is the way I'm gonna go. So for this, we're actually gonna work backwards. We're gonna work from smaller to larger pocket when we glue in. Um, I'm gonna lay a bead of hot glue right down along the edge and lay my fabric in there. Um, and the last time we did this, so you see that my smallest piece of fabric here um, we'll go right down there. But before I do that, um, as I said, this particular version of the craft is no so. So I want to create a um, hem seam along the top here. Um, so I'm first going to lay down a bead of glue along my fabric so that I can then just fold over and create that nice edge. over and be careful glue hot glue is warm and this particular fabric isn't too protective of my fingers especially not when I put them right in the glue so they're just a real quick hemmed edge that'll last a whole lot nicer all right so we've got our edging there and we're ready to go to the frame itself. Um, now for this, I think that I found it easiest to start on one short edge um, with the edge of my fabric and then do along the bottom and then up the final edge. I made it a little bit easier when putting the glue in. So I'm just gonna start here. And if I go a little bit above where my fabric is actually going to land, that's all right. This is just our first layer, so we'll actually have the room. Um, now that my glue's in there, I'm going to take my fabric and using my fingers or even a, um, a pencil or something like that, I'm just really pushing this fabric right down into the glue. Oh, and actually I didn't quite go far enough. Go a little bit farther with that glue there. Tapping it right in, and hot glue cools off pretty fast. You also want to make sure that I've come down far enough that the bottom of my fabric has room to go into the bottom of the frame. Okay, so I'll pull this to the side so that I can lay my bead of glue across the bottom of the frame, almost to the end of this glue stick. There we go. All right, and again, I'm just gonna make sure I've got a little bit of extra fabric, and I'm gonna tap that right into the bottom edge, into the glue that I've laid there. And you might notice that I'm getting a little bit of uh, lean here. That's totally all right. You want this to be a pocket. You want this to have enough room to put post-it notes in, or, um, 
smaller pens or highlighters, those fun little things that we get at conferences and random things. Okay, another stick of glue. All right, and we do this last edge here on this short side. Bead of glue in the frame. And again, I don't have to pull this very tight across. I can leave a little bit of a lag there. That'll give me a little bit more room in my pocket. But you'll see that my measured piece of fabric, I have this little extra bit here. So I'm actually gonna turn my frame this way and trim this extra fabric off. These are just my regular scissors. If you have fabric scissors, I'm jealous of you in this very moment because they cut a lot better when you're cutting fabric, especially at a strange angle. All right, and make sure that my pocket, this layer is glued right in there. Okay, and for our next layer, we're going to do the exact same thing. Um, I'm going to start on the short side and glue in after I make my um, seam hem. Oh, that's this way. Make sure I have the fabric in the right direction. And then we'll have our two pockets ready to go. both of our pockets hot glued in we are ready to put the back piece back in so I have my frame ready right here again I've got nothing but the fabric on the back and I'm gonna go ahead and slide this in trying to make sure that the fabric on it stays pretty straight on make sure I have enough have these little pieces moved back enough to go in. There we go. All right, and then push them all back down. One's on top here. All right, and turn it over. And my frame organizer is ready for some pens and highlighters. And I'll be able to hang this right on the wall by my desk this one because I can kind of, uh, my Chloe pen, my little awesome hedgehog pen, I mean really even these scissors, although I'd be careful with these because of the fabric um, might tear, this bigger one is great because it's got a lot more room, pens that have the little cap on them like this sharpie, I can really hook right on. And I will be all organized at my desk and ready to go.